Hey guys, this is Game of Cal. Unfortunately, this has got to be a retake, but whatever, it's not a humongously interesting stage anyway, so I'm not that fussed. We're, you know, I'm just got to apologize to Alien Angel for this one, actually, because we kind of already did this one, and I'm going to have to now go and redo it because of audio desync issues. And, you know, however, at least I do sort of understand why it's desyncing now, so... You know, I know what is going wrong, I just don't know how I'm going to fix it. Which obviously doesn't really help, but you know, it's still there anyway. And yeah, we're basically going into this village place here, and yeah, Calamity, Befallen, yada yada yada, whatever, you know. I'm really not a huge fan of this stage because there's just lots of going backtracking stuff and it's really annoying but what can you really do there is a strange sensation over there apparently and that is rather important and this is something i didn't do last time actually um in fact i just need these guys over here so yep just going to chuck him there and yeah i didn't do this last time so i guess it's sort of karma, huh? You know, just put them on the switch, and yeah, there's chests over there now, so we can go and get those later. I don't know. We don't really need to talk to the owl, I don't think, so yep, we can get moon gates. Which is kind of useful. Now we have ourselves a moon pearl, and this comes in quite often during this game. Basically, moon pearls take you to the dark world of the screen which you are in. You cannot transition between screens in you know, the Dark World. So each each screen which has the Dark World is localized at that point, so, you know... It makes for somewhat interesting gimmicks and stuff because they do put things in the Dark World which is obviously going to then help you out later, you know, but... Yeah, as you can see, we can't go anywhere in here, but you can take, um, cuckoos and stuff, you know, items through the portals. So, you know, sometimes that's kind of handy to take something like a bottle through or whatever. But yay, we get 100 Force Gems and 20 Force Gems. Well, that's a good start. So, now where are we going to go? We're going to go over here because we can. And there is this little housey house over here, which basically you get to play a game for Force Gems and stuff. So, yep, we spread some force gems outside, we get arrows, and basically, there is a bit of a time limit to this one, but the idea is you're just supposed to hit the force gems that come up. The purple ones are incredibly annoying to try and hit, because sometimes they'll change direction for no apparent reason, and yeah, it just gets a bit of a pain, but, well, that and the fact that the 20 force gems keep getting in the way as well, so, kind of air, uh, but hey, we managed to hit one anyway, so that's good. That's good. Now, let's see, uh, this looks like an ideal sort of spot. Oh well, we got 20, fair enough, that's okay, I can handle 20. Uh, so long as I'm actually getting force gems in the first place, that's the major point. Okay, oh wow, excellent, managed to get two in one shot, that's fantastic. And, well we got 20, again, that's kinda good. Da, 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 da. Just trying to time it right. I have no idea if this is going to be timed well or not, but we're just going to go for it anyway at some stage. Uh, okay, 20, right. Good, 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 good. Only missed one hour so far, that's not too bad. Well, two hours. Fine, I've got two shots left. And, um, well, whatever. So, let's give this last hour a go and see where it's going to take us. Missed. Oh well, whatever. I still got a really good amount of force gems from that, so better than usual, that's for sure. I got about 900 off of that, so excellent stuff. And now, if we go down here, we're going to manage to talk to somebody else. I'm ignoring the guy in red there because we're coming back here in a sec anyway, so whatever. We get ourselves a second moon pearl, so yay. Always nice. Now, yeah, obviously going with the solo guy because I can roll with the solo guy and that makes things a little bit faster. Not really important, but you know. Except I can't keep the moon pearl that way. Oh, freaking hell, seriously? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I need to go back and get that. So I can't speed this up at all. Really? That's just annoying. <laughs> can I? Yeah, well, maybe I can do it this way. Maybe it was just because I was inside. Yeah, okay, right, that works. 
So, yep, just going to take ourselves with this Moon Pearl, and we can use it up here. Except Shadow Link is up there, so let's just snipe him on the way past so we can get a free 100 Force Gems, you know? Very nice and easy thing to do, and yeah, just no bother at all. Ah, that was a bad idea. Whatever, doesn't matter. We're gonna go here, and there is another portal to the Dark World, which I'm not gonna take at the moment, simply because... You know, there are Force Gems and stuff in the Dark World bit there, but I'm not too fussed right now. What we need to do is we need to go over here. And there is a path over here with that 100 Force Gem thing going inside, chase that down, and we managed to get, you know, a nice little bonus there. Now, yep, we spotted the entrance to this place. Apparently, this is a Seeker's Guild, which is going to be nice for, you know, collecting information and stuff. So basically, the whole story of this place, if, you know, since I've been going through this way too fast, pretty much the main story of this bit is that some um, villagers' children have been disappearing into the Dark World, and we're now in this guild thing to try and find out why that is. There's a guy in the top left-hand corner of the screen, which is who we need to go and talk to now. But with everybody blocking the way, there is no way that we can get across. So what we have to do is we have to push the fat lady out of the way in order to, you know, get into her place and find the moon pearl. The moon pearl is used in this screen for the dark world, and the dark world in this place will allow us to get, you know, Pegasus bits. Seems a bit counterintuitive, but you know, I might as well get this one first because I'm down here. Although it is going to be harder because I don't have bombs, so I can't um, I can't just explode this thing out. But, you know, we can still do it anyway, so... Yep, let's just go and hopefully not fail at this. That would be kind of good, except I'm going the wrong way. Ah! Go, 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 go. Oh, wrong way again. This is why I just bomb this normally, because honestly... Sort of annoying to do this, but you know, I think we've made it anyway, so yep, 16 seconds. Good, 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 good. You can make it there in two, three seconds if you um if you have the bombs and stuff to blow up the wall there, but we didn't have that, so we just had to do what we what we what we could do, pretty much. And now we've got another heart container thing, which is nice, except hearts are really kind of useless in this level because there's almost no actual damaging threats in this one. So, you know, it's all exploration type stuff, so not the best of levels, I must admit, but, you know. Not every level is amazing in this, and it is kind of good for the plot, I suppose. It's sort of important that way, so I guess it does make sense that this place is here. Doesn't make it any more tolerable, but you know, it's kind of there. So yeah, we managed to break through the line by doing that, and there's a hole over there to get you back, which is kind of okay, I guess. And yeah, now we have a little clue of the six. Kind of weird. And yep, we used the moon pearl, da 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 whatever. Doesn't really make a difference, it's all just speaking to text people. And yeah, there was a hole down there, so you can get back more easily. There's also a cuckoo for no reason whatsoever. I have no idea why that thing exists, but apparently it does. So yeah, just smash the sign on the way past, really not a huge deal. We can't do anything in there at the moment, so there's no point in going in there. However, I can get these force gems up here because, you know, I had the stuff to do so. Always good when you have the right stuff to do the job. Now I am going to go into the dark, the dark world here, because there is a little bit of stuff I can do now that I can break those bricks. Because, you know, I have the the whole chargey charge thing, I can now destroy stuff, which is good. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and get ourselves 80 Force Gems whilst we're there. Not that essential, but you know, lots of Force Gems of course always helps, and you do need 2,000 by the end of the stage, so, you know, it's always handy to do that. And around the top, which was completely failed, but whatever, we just hit the switches to make those, you know, chests possible to get, and that is what I'm going to go and do now. So, what's in these ones? There's 100 Force Gems, and there is a blue bracelet. Again, useless for this stage, although you're still going to compete for it anyway, but you know, it's useless for the stage because there's almost no enemies in this one, but 
hey, what can you really do? So there's a girl who is talking about a house there, except I'm not really too fussed about her at the moment because I know exactly what I'm doing with her later. This is a gambling room and I don't feel like wasting my force gems, so you know I'm not going to bother with that one. And there's nothing else to do in this place, so we're going to come back later, but right now we don't need to do anything there. Don't need to do anything in that house at the top either, it's all just flavour stuff, so that's fine. Well, I guess whilst, oops, whilst I'm here, I can go this side and talk to the guy which I didn't talk to before, because now that I'm part of that guild thing, he will talk to us. Properly. So, we have a clue from him that sometimes talking to self deeply connected to this village is a completely pointless clue, but you know. We've still collected two of them, and actually, now that I think about it, I've already missed the third one as well, but whatever, we'll get to that in a sec. There is 100 Force Gems in there, which I didn't get when I played through this with Alien Angel, that's kind of weird. But yeah, the third guy is here, so, you know, he has something as well, Apprentice Mage, whatever. Protect is another very strange clue. And then the last guy, oops, the last guy is over here, of course, it's the only place we've not gone. And in order to get this one, I can't actually remember immediately what I did, but yeah, let's just snipe him on the way past. And get ourselves another 100 Force Gems, there are only two away, that's pretty good. But yeah, the, um, the whole thing of this is there are stuff in here which is useless. You don't ever need those water pots, so don't bother with them in this level, they're not important at all, so yeah, kind of weird how that works, but hey, not complaining too much. One force gem away from the 2000, seriously now. This is just silly, just give me that, there we go. Okay, I hit the 2000, so now I have the sword up. Again, it's not important in this stage though, because this stage really doesn't have very much in terms of um, enemy fighting, so yeah. But, what we need now is we need a way of burning those logs that are there, so what we do for that, of course, is we go and get ourselves a lamp. Lamps are very good destructive tools, you know, they're obviously useful for burning crap down, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, I'm pretty sure that if you had, you know, more than more characters involved in this, more players, you would be able to keep more items and it would be sort of useful, but unfortunately I don't have that luxury, so it's a bit more difficult for me to do stuff, and you can get bombs here. I don't think I need them anymore because I got the Pegasus boots early, but I'm probably going to be wrong, so watch me have to come back here later. I don't know. Anyway, point of everything is, you can go here and talk to this guy, so this is the last Seeker Brother guy that we need to go and speak to, and yep, she said beautiful. That's kind of weird. Very, very strange clues here, aren't they? But whatever. So, yep, the girl vanished too, da 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 da, whatever, you know, people are disappearing, that is kind of what we knew anyway, we don't need to bother about that. And yeah, that I think is basically it for this. So what we need to go and do now is we need to go and talk to that guy again. You know, the one which had the silly thing about the going into his guild and whatnot. Kind of boring how you have to track back and everything, but you know, it's all just like the same five screens or something, but you know, it's there are different things to do each time, I guess. So yeah, it's obviously referencing the maidens, so you know, Something's happened to the Maidens, that's the whole point of the story that we've seen so far, so, yeah. And, pretty much, yeah, we now have a shovel, so we can go and dig in places and find stuff. I'm going to very quickly take some time to go back and do things. I can't actually get over there, I don't think. Let's see, can I throw a dude there? No, I can't. Right, so I can't go and get that one because I'm with one person, but... I can dig up the Force Gems here, so there's a lot of Force Gems buried in the ground that you will have noticed already, and you can now dig them all up, and apparently that one wants to run away, but we got it anyway, so, you know, screw you for wanting to run away. There's not anything normally in random patches of stuff, but there are some suspicious patches of dirt and things which are always handy to dig around. Like, well, not here, because that's just kind of silly, but there are some patches, like, there's one over the other side of the screen here, which was just way too suspicious not to be something. I'm always going to dig in corners anyway, but yeah, right here, there is a hole in the ground. 
kind of random, but that's just the way it is. So, you know, we can go up the ladder and get these force gems which are in the middle here. Again, they're not essential at this point, but if you can get a lot of Force Gems, you might as well, you know. Although, as a multiplayer thing, you probably wouldn't be backtracking into these places, because honestly, it would just be so silly. However, if you're in desperate need of Force Gems, you might consider coming in here, I guess, I don't know. Sort of pointless, but, eh, I'm not one to judge. So, regardless of all of that, we can go into this place now, and there was a patch of dirt that we can dig through. It's basically like round about here is a hole, and yeah, the, the whole thing of the flowers being there is a bit of an indicator I guess, but it's still rather random. What is more random, and it's something you would find out about in the Dark World, is that there are Force Gems in this sort of area around about here. Can't remember exactly which thing it, whatever it was, but you might have to be told about it first. I guess that would make sense. But there is a set of force gems in that little corner bit there, so kind of odd, I guess. And there are switches, so it's an old switch based thing, I guess. Really kind of silly, but whatever. Yep. Good old switch pressing. It forces everybody to be in the same place, I guess, at least. So, eh, makes sense. So, I'm going to go blue guy because blue guy is awesome, and there is a moon pearl gate thing right in this bit here. I don't know if there's anything in those trees because I've never been able to have Pegasus boots down here, but I'm pretty sure there would be. So, you know, that's kind of out there, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, there is a patch of dirt. It's actually different in every playthrough, but there is always one patch of dirt in this general area which is available for collecting a lot of Force Gems. So now you can see where it is. It's in the top corner of the, you know, the housey house thing. And, well, I need to go out of this anyway because I need to have the lamp if I'm going to get through there. I need bombs or something of the equivalent if I'm going to get that chest there. So, we need to do a little bit of backtracking and stuff. Always annoying to do, but, nah, what can you do? Sometimes you've just got to do that, so... Yeah, gonna be probably some... Probably not speeding through this bit, actually, because there's still other stuff I can do in here. Like... That part which the, you know, was the Force Gems was right there, so we can dig that up. There's 300 Force Gems, very, very nice to get, you know, definitely get those because that adds a lot to your total. And up here, of course, we've seen the 100 buried there, so we might as well get that on the way past. I don't think I need the shovel much anymore, so I can safely get rid of that. And, yeah, um, well, I could get the lamp at the moment, but I sort of want the bombs first, because I want to get whatever's in that, um, in that chest in the Dark World, so, let's go and do that, get the bombs, and go back. What I think I'm going to do now, actually, to speed this up a little bit, is to go with solo characters, so that I can actually, you know, get back here quickly enough. So I will now, yep, split up and take the blue guy into the Dark World thing. Not too bad. Actually, maybe I should take another character as well, but I don't know. We're just going to deal with it this way. I can, I can at least go into the Dark World with the bombs, get that chest, come back out, and then collect. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. It's all good. So yeah, go into here as the blue guy. Actually, a fun fact: you can pick up guys in the light world with the um with people in the dark world. You in multiplayer that is kind of important, I think, if I remember rightly. So yeah, definitely a useful trick to have around. And I don't know what these guys say. So let's see. Hey, Cuckoo, why are you in here? Uh, I want to burn with flames of passion. Da 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 da. Oh, wow! Hi there! I didn't know you did that. Hell yeah! Oh, wow, that's awesome. We got the fire rod. Um, da 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 da, whatever. So, I guess because we got the fire rod, we're not able to see what else is there. But I don't care. We've managed to get the fire rod. That's amazing. And we've got another 100 force gems. Very nice. That actually considerably speeds things up because now I don't have to. I don't have to go and get the lantern or anything. That's that's wonderful. I love that. 
Okay, so get out of my way. And now we have to have all four guys converge again, and yeah, basically go in here. There is, of course, a burnable bit here too, though, so, you know, go in here briefly and you can get yourself 80 Force Gems. Not that essential, but, you know, again, Force Gems are important, so might as well get as many of them as you can. And then this, these ones run away, as we've seen already, so basically just corner them and grab them. That's a good amount, and we need to go and see that girl over there, that's why I needed a fire implement in the first place. But having the fire rod is even better, so you know, excellent stuff. How that managed to burn the one behind it, I will never know. Huh, that was just weird. Oh well, whatever, we can now talk to this girl, and yeah, her boyfriend and I had a fight, whatever, da 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 Basically, she got teleported here and she can't get back, and you know, she's worried that her boyfriend is going to stay mad at her forever. I don't know. That letter is freaking huge, by the way, you know, look at the size of that thing. Honestly, what sort of paper are they writing these damn things on? Really now? But yeah, since we can go into the light world again, it's all fine, and we can now go ahead and get ourselves this whole letter-based thing over here, I suppose. That's kind of important. I don't know why, but it is. And, well, that was about the only use for fire in this place, so pretty much the fire rod now is not going to get used again, but... Oh well, you know, it was useful whilst it lasted, which was admittedly not long at all, but you know. This guy over here, which I've completely ignored until now, basically he is the one that you've got to talk to, to, you know, do whatever. He is the boyfriend, basically. And yeah, you have the letter, and da 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 da, whatever. Yep, she's okay, but attacked by whatever, yep. And yes, we can do something if we go and get, you know, extra stuff. And pretty much now we get to go... We get to goo, yes. We get to goo lots of stuff. But yes, we get to jump now because we've got Rock's Feather. Admittedly, I like the Fire Rod an awful lot, but Rock's Feather is a very good substitute. So, you know, kind of happy with this. Because now I can jump... I can jump, I said. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I can jump over that hole and... Yeah, that's like the only damage I'm probably... You no, know, just about the only damage I'm gonna take in this whole level, but whatever. Basically, now we have to go and get the book to a girl in the Dark World. Yeah, that girl which I ignored that was talking about the house, so it's got the house symbol, see in the background bit there. So, yeah, we've got to now go and see her with the book. Kind of long-winded, but you know, it's not that bad, so I'm kind of happy enough with this one. Wow, I didn't actually know that was the case. If you jump on a portal, then it seems that it doesn't activate. How weird. Oh well, not the point. Basically now we have, you know, Iris over here has got the missing the book which we have picked up. And with that book, she can make the house reappear. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, check out the book. We can do anything. Da -da 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 -da. Whatever, yep. The house is pretty much there again. I don't know how you managed to make a house appear out of nowhere, but you know, I'm not going to question it, because questioning stuff in this game is never generally a good idea. Questioning stuff in most games is not a good idea, but there we go. And somehow the girl got teleported back here as well. And, you know, there's a stairway to something. Now, you would want to have blocks, you know, bombs if you wanted to take the easy way through this, but actually by jumping down here instead, watch out for the spikes down below obviously, but by jumping there you can get round the back of this and get the force gems that way. In multiplayer though, you're never getting that first. Don't even bother trying to jump to get that first, because if, you know, if somebody's got bombs, or worse yet, the Pegasus boots, you're not getting there. Anyway, 300 Force Gems, and it's a race for Tingle thing, you know, it's kind of annoying. But, you know, depending on the path you take, you, know, you can get there quite easily. There are 300 Force Gems down there as well, in here, which would be nice to get, but I'm not going back for the shovel to get them, because dear god, that would take too long. Now, yeah, we're outside the town, finally, Jesus hell, but it's raining out here. For some reason it's raining out here and not in the town. Makes no sense whatsoever. But, 
you know, we're not going to care too much about that. I'm just going to overturn some of these rocks because I don't know. There might be something underneath them. Whatever. Doesn't really make too much difference. No, I don't think there is actually, but you never know. You never know. So, yeah. Just overturning rocks, and that's that. There isn't anything there. Okay, right. Now we will get to fight the only enemy in this entire freaking stage. It's Shadow Link in duplicate. Because for some reason he wanted to be in double here. I don't know. This fight is quite obviously straightforward, but it's a lot easier if you um, if you have bombs, I think, because it just you know it's nice that way. But it's very nice when you can simply just you know kill him that way but we're gonna go in the dark world and kill that other one first because you know if you kill this one you can get force gems for it which is good I have no idea what that skull thing is for by the way that was a bad idea yeah apparently that skull thing comes in as well but yeah let's just go and kill him off please it's Obviously easier if you don't do that, but you know, a jumping stab is extremely powerful, and that's pretty much the idea, you know? <laughs> and stun him with that, kill him off with that, there we go. Very straightforward fight, it's just, you know, trying to time jumping stabs is not always that easy, and for some reason now, the village is perfectly fine. You know, the rain suddenly stops and the village, everything, everybody there is just kind of, oh, hey, happy town, you know, and whatever. We're just going to ignore them all and we're going to go up here, get rid of the barriers because we can. I'm just going to whirlwind spin them because I never use whirlwind spin and it's just something that we can do. It sounds hilarious, that's why. And yeah, two force fairies. Okay, so that alien angel was right that way. Basically... It seems like every thousand force gems you get beyond the two thousand that you need to get the end goal up gives you a force fairy. So that's generally why if you want to get a lot of force fairies you ideally want to be above um, four thousand I think to get a decent amount per the end of stage. It's probably possible to get five thousand in some in that stage somehow by the gambling guy, but you know, that would take a lot of luck and I'm not really into that, so whatever. Anyhow, this has been Game of Cow, finally playing Zelda thing again, you know, it's, I kind of wanted to do this with Alien Angel Sing there, but you know, the audio desync stuff didn't work. However, I now know roughly what I need to do, I think, I just need to set stuff at higher priority, etc, so hopefully next time we'll have it done properly. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do another one of these just now. So join me next time where we go into the Eastern Temple and Complete World 2. See you guys.